Yo, welcome to the show. I'm Zach Poff. Got McKenna Guerrero in the house. Hey, everybody. McKenna, what are we talking about today? Well, it's the games that we've all been waiting for, mm-hmm. the final four. Yep. Yeah, the CIF Southern section, open division. And, you know, a lot of people are saying this is one of the best semifinals of any four teams we've ever mm-hmm. seen in high school football, especially in California. We've got four top 15 teams, three top 10 teams. Number one, Modern Day, faces off against number 15, Mission Viejo, in a game you're calling the... Battle of the Unbeaten. That's both correct. Undefeated, both undefeated, obviously. Both undefeated. And then you got number five, Corona Centennial, versus number seven, St. John Bosco. And, uh, you know, both these teams are playing great football. Bosco's kind of been a different team since DJ Uangalele, super sophomore quarterback, has been put in there. Mm-hmm. He's been putting up lights out numbers. And then, of course, with Centennial, you got Tanner McKee, who's... Uh, you know, Centennial's averaged nearly 70 points per game, so it's been pretty, pretty impressive. What game do you want to start with first to break down? You know, I think we need to start with number one, yeah. Modern Day. Yeah, and, uh, you know, this is a team I believe is, uh, you know, by far the best team in high school football. They're good on all three levels, offense, defense, and special teams, mm-hmm. especially offensively. You know, uh, offensive line is big time, led by Tommy Brown, an Alabama guy. JT Daniels, I've been saying bef- since before the year, best quarterback in high school football. I think he's kind of proved that this season. He he's, has he has proven that. And he, we kind of talked about it earlier. He gets better every single game. Yeah. And, uh, you know, he wears uh, number 18. Mm-hmm. Peyton Manning was a pretty good guy when it came to game planning yep. and just knowing and loving the game and being one of the smartest guys. And I, I see a lot of Peyton Manning with JT Daniels because his preparation is maybe the best in all of high school football. And then you look at the guys he gets the rock to. Amon Ross St. Brown is best the, combo. Yeah. Oh yeah, best wide receiver quarterback combo in high school football. You know, you got Parks also. You got Nico Remigio. Yeah. Brew McCoy, who's an absolute stud. That guy, only a junior. Mm-hmm. You can make the case he's, you know, the best junior at the skill position oh, yeah. in all of high school football. He's been a big time playmaker. And as you said, Nico Remigio's been a stud. Shakobi Harper in the backfield along mm-hmm. with streets. I mean, this team offensively is just absolutely loaded. Yeah, like you said, best high school football team in the country. I got to ask you though, Gorman mm-hmm. was really good last year. Yeah, is this who would you take this modern day team or that Gorman team in twenty sixteen with Tate Martell? Um, you know what? I honestly, after watching them play live a couple times, I really would say modern day. Yeah, I would. I would have to agree. You know, that Gorman team was one of the best I've ever seen since I've you know been here at Max mm-hmm. Preps for you know just over four years. But I think this modern day team is just a little bit better. Uh, JT Daniels, absolute stud. Tate Martell was big time also. Yeah, Defensively, course. though, that's where I love modern day is uh, they, they get pressure on the quarterback and they force turnovers. They got a young secondary. They got mm-hmm. two of the top sophomore quarterbacks led by Darion Green Warren in the secondary. And then, you know, you got Solomon Tuli Papu at linebacker. The front seven is absolutely loaded. You know, they get five, six sacks a game. So uh, that's going to be key for Mission Viejo is they got to they got to find a way to give Yellen some time to throw the rock. Elijah Griffin, one of my favorite players in all of California. Yeah. I've been saying he's the best two-way player mm-hmm. in the state. He does it on, uh, you know, both sides of the rock. He's going to have to have a big game. He's going to have to step up like he did during the poly game. How about that matchup, though? You know, you're going to have him matched up against Amon Ross St. Brown. Yeah. That's going to be a big-time matchup. Austin Osborne's going to be a big factor for Mission Viejo. And uh, how about the game Achille Arnold had last week? Oh, my God. Yeah. Five touchdowns? Five touchdowns over, over 300 yards. And uh, he wasn't even expected to really play running back this year. Jamari mm-hmm. Farrell went down with a broken leg early in the season. So Arnold had to step up and play running back. 1,000-plus mm-hmm. yards later and a big-time playoff performance. He's right there among the best in all of Southern California. Yeah, Time to get your pick down. in, though. Who are you, who you taking? Modern day. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I think this this way the game's going to play out. I think Mission Viejo's going to keep it close first half. And uh, I think modern day, just depth-wise, mm-hmm. a little more than Mission Viejo. And I think as the game progresses, I think that's when modern day is going to kind of take advantage. We saw that last week against Pauly. It was 27-13 at half, 28 nothing in the second half for Long Beach Pauly. So uh, I, I kind of see that playing. So when's the last time these two played, by the way? I know you did your homework on that. So. It was uh, 2013. Who won that game? Modern Day. They did. Mm-hmm. This will be, what, the fifth matchup, I think, between the two? The sixth meeting since mm-hmm. 2004 between the two. Viejo has won three of the five, I believe. Yes. So the last one was in the playoffs at Modern Day won, though. So we'll see how that plays out. Yeah. They're tied 1-1 in, in playoff series history since, you know, Max Preps became a site in 2004. Yeah. But, uh, 
You also got two legendary head coaches. You know, Bob Johnson's retiring, stepping down after this season. He's been one of the best. You know, he's got over 300 career wins. Bruce Rawlinson, a big-time coach oh, yeah. for modern day. Too. Matt Miner, Matt Barkley. Oh, yeah, when you talk about the players yeah. that Rawlinson's coached, I mean, the list goes on and on. That's another thing with JT Daniels. This mm -hmm. guy has more career passing yards than any other modern day quarterback. That is unbelievable. And he's only a junior. So I got modern day too. Um, I'm gonna yeah, go. Yeah, since you're like the pick master, what's the um, the score or prediction master? Yeah, sorry. I'm, I'm gonna go 49 to uh, 21, four okay. touchdown mm -hmm. game for modern day. I, you know, Mission Viejo, they could prove me wrong. They got a big time coach in Bob Johnson, so he's gonna have a good game plan. But I think as the game goes on, I'm, I, I like modern day in this one. The other game though, I think is gonna be uh, you know arguably the best game of the year. These two met last year in the semifinals in the same spot. Bosco won 49-47. And there was a questionable call on a fourth down Centennial had late in the game. Mm -hmm. It looked like uh, the running back for Centennial picked up the first down. The ref marked it a little short. So, well, I mean, obviously that's last year. Yeah. So, But Centennial's had Bosco on their mind for sure. These two teams have met. F this will be the fifth straight year they met in the playoffs. So these guys do pretty well in the Pac-5. And now the CIF Southern Section D1 bracket. So what you're so. saying, it's a revenge match. Yeah. They're coming for them. Yeah. Series is tied 2-2 over the last four years. This mm -hmm. will be the fifth matchup, of course. Uh, the two times Bosco beat Centennial, they ended up winning the state title in 2013 and 2016. And uh, when Centennial beat Bosco, that was when they had those Javon McKinley teams. Javon McKinley, absolute stud wide receiver for Centennial. This game, though, I keep going back and forth. You know, since Bosco's put DJ Ongalele at quarterback, They've been a whole new team. He's more a pro-style guy than Real Mitchell was. Mm -hmm. You know, Real Mitchell was a big-time playmaker. He, he led Bosco to a state title last year. But this team's just, the mojo's better. The team's rallying yeah. around DJ. Like you said, the whole flow, the whole chemistry is just better with DJ. Yeah, and, uh, you know, this kid's 6'4", 240. Yeah. I mean, he's got the build to be a big-time quarterback. I actually... Yeah, I mean, he's only a sophomore. And he's, he's putting up these numbers. Yeah, he's a grown man that's, what, 15. Yeah. So. But... He's been super impressive to watch. He only has two interceptions in his six career starts it's, so far. Yeah, And those six career starts have all come in the Trinity League mm -hmm. and in the playoffs. So it's not like he's playing yeah. some easy I mean, opponents. the Trinity League, hands down, best league in the nation. Oh, yeah. best it's, Hardest league in the nation. It's it's the toughest for sure. And, uh, you know, this playoff bracket's also the toughest too. So oh, things yeah. don't get any easier for St. John Bosco or Modern Day when no. they get to the playoffs. At wide receiver, though, you know, you got Josiah – you got – Josh Delgado, you got Colby Bowman, and also Chris, you know, Huston. So they got some studs at, at wide receiver also. So we'll see how it goes. They do. Secondary's good too, right? Jaden Woodby, Chris Steven Steel. Blaylock. Yeah, Chris Steele, I believe, is the best corner in the 2019 class. And, uh, you know, Blaylock's a stud. And, you know, obviously, you know how I feel about Jaden Woodby. I think mm -hmm. he's one of the best in the class of 2018. But they're going to need to step up on another level for this game. Oh, yeah. You know, Centennial's averaging nearly 70 points mm -hmm. per game. Gary Bryant and Venable at wide receiver. They're, they're two big-time playmakers. So this is going to be a fun game. I, this is the game of the week for us on Max mm -hmm. Preps. You know, it'll be featured as the game of the week on our top 10 slate. Modern Day Viejo is obviously going to be in there too. But uh, this is an evenly matched game, and this game really is a pick -em. I think if it was in Vegas, I'm not saying you should bet <laughs> on high school games, but if this game you was are. in Vegas, <laughs> it would be a pick -em. I don't think they would really All right, so who favorite. would you pick then? Centennial versus Bosco. You know, I had to turn in my prep force pick today, mm -hmm. and I went with Centennial. Okay. I wish I could think about it a little more. So I'm going to stay. I'm not going to be that guy that picks team here and then goes different here. Okay. I'm going I'm to roll with Centennial. I, I just think Tanner McKee is going to make some plays offensively. I think it's going to be a high-scoring game, and this could be one of those games where whoever has the rock last is going to win. So do you think it's kind of going to be a repeat of last year? Just opposite of Centennial's going to Well, yeah, yeah, but that close. What if Centennial... I'll tell you what, I'll go 49-47 Centennial. That was the same score last uh -huh. year that Bosco won, so... Okay. Who are you picking, though? That's what the people want to know. Um, I'm going with Centennial as well. Wow. I think... Uh, Smart, McKee, just copy my pick. I'm not copying your pick. Yeah. Okay. But anyway, Tanner McKee is a huge playmaker. Yeah. And he shows it. I mean... He can rush. Mm -hmm. he what, can 11 throw. rushing touchdowns? I know. Almost it's 20 passing touchdowns. And I tell you what, man, Centennial might be undefeated still if Tanner McKee doesn't get hurt against IMG Academy. 
And they're rolling. They go right back now. and forth on that one. They would have beat I, they would have beat IFG. They were I in that game different. with their third string quarterback. I have a different opinion on that one. But okay. not, that was old news. Yeah. And speaking of IMG, Buki's a free agent, so we'll see where he goes. Yeah, I know. Who's your bet? I think he's going with X. He's going to Clemson. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Yeah. Speaking of uncommitted guys, real quick, mm-hmm. Amon Ross St. Brown, one of the best I believe he's the best wide receiver in the class. You know, best wide receiver in all of high school football. Where's he gonna go? I told you, I think he's going to UCLA. Even with Jim Moore Jr. getting canned. Yes, I still think he's going to UCLA. Interesting. I think he's going to go fight on. I know you do. I think I say every guy's going to go to USC, though. You do? Yeah. All right, so we both have Centennial Modern Day. Mm -hmm. We're going to be there. We're going to go to that game. Regardless if, you know, whoever's playing. If Viejo's playing Bosco, we're still going. It's going to be a fun game to go to. Yeah. Um, who would you pick if Centennial and Modern Day played? Who, who, who's McKenna Guerrero rolling with? That's kind of what I was going to ask you, too. Do you think anyone's ready for Modern Day? I personally think... I think Modern Day would beat UCLA. Not really. <laughs> no, I, I think it, I, I'm going to pick Modern Day against anybody in high yeah. school football. That's just what it comes down to. They've that's... been number one all year, and they've proven it. I'm not copying you, but that's exactly <laughs> how I feel. That's smart. I mean... You look at Modern Day, mm-hmm. and even Centennial, too. The weaknesses aren't there. The one thing I've noticed with Bofsko, uh, they're usually, they don't get penalties and they usually don't turn the ball over. They've been better on turnovers lately, especially with DJ at quarterback, but penalties have been kind of an issue for St. John Bosco. Yeah. If they want to beat Centennial and then potentially beat Modern Day, they've got to cut down on the penalties. They've, they're talented enough for sure to beat either one of those teams, but... Penalties have been an issue for St. John Bosco. You saw it last week against Rancho Cucamonga. Yes. They had some penalties that allowed Cucamonga to stay in the game. I know Bosco pulled away late, but at one point it was a 13-point game. And Cucamonga it sh- had and it shouldn't it, have yeah, been it a 13-point game. It should have never been a 13-point game. But I'm picking Modern Day to beat anybody they play. Okay, so mm-hmm. we talked about how Modern Day is probably, hands down, the best high school football yeah. team we've seen. But they Bishop Gorman... No, no. Bishop I'm just Gorman. saying they would beat IMG if they played. Skin that out there. That would be a really good game. It would not. But, yes, it would. But anyways, last year's Bishop Gorman team Mm -hmm. versus this year's Modern Day team score, who would you pick? Modern Day would win 42 to 28. Oh, really? They would. I just, I don't know. This, uh, This has been the best high school football team I've ever seen since I've been here for four years. There's been some good teams. The Allen Eagles with Kyler Murray had some big time Mm -hmm. teams. Obviously, the Gorman teams, Katie's had some dominant defense and dominant teams. Even if you go back to 2013 with the Rosen-led Bosco Braves, that was a big-time team. But uh, I'm, I, I think this modern-day team is better than all of them. Mm-hmm. So, No, I'm I totally agree. I mean, before I saw them at Levi Stadium, I was like, okay, obviously they're the number one team in the nation for a reason, but when you actually see them live, it's yeah. like – Incredible. Yeah, I'll tell you one thing, though, is I, I do believe DJ Wangalele is going to be better than Josh Rosen. Okay. So that's kind of going out on a limb right there. What about better than JT? Uh, don't put me in that spot. I was, you know, having a talk with someone earlier, uh-huh. and, uh, you know, I'm saying JT and DJ could have a Brady type of Manning rivalry. Uh-huh. DJ wears 12, JT wears 18. That's true. So you got the same number thing. We'll see. I mean, obviously, one's a junior, one's a sophomore, so you got the, the year advantage. Mm-hmm. But imagine if, you know, JT's at SC and somehow DJ goes to, you know, Bosco guys, a lot of them have gone to UCLA. If he goes to UCLA, you got... I don't know, but he fits that U of O. Yeah, Oregon. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see. He was just there last weekend, right? Yeah, he was. So, uh, he could just go fight on too, you know? More to the more to the team. He want everyone to fight on. <laughs> That's all the time we got. We both got Modern Day and Centennial meeting up in the CIF Southern Section D1 Championship game. Anything can happen. Bosco's got a chance. Viejo's got a chance. Get your popcorn ready for that one. That's McKenna Guerrero. I'm Zach Poffier on MaxPreps.com.